Algorand Price Prediction 2023. Is Algo a good investment? Algorand is an incredible open source decentralized blockchain project that operates on a unique proof of stake system that is considerably younger when you consider the likes of Blackcoin, NXT, and Cardano. The protocol might be a common denominator in these projects, but Algorand does it differently. In this video, we'll talk about Algorand price prediction for 2023. How does Algorand work? What makes it different from other proof-of-stake based blockchains? And should you invest in Algorand? What is Algorand? Algorand is a pretty young crypto project that didn't start until 2019. And before its arrival, the crypto community faced a threefold challenge in terms of blockchain efficiency. Given that the crypto economy was built on the digital ecosystem, security was one of the biggest challenges experienced by the early users of cryptocurrencies. They were prone to getting scammed or having their coins hacked and stolen by black hats. The progenitor of the Algorand project, MIT professor Silvio McCauley, a computer scientist, developed a blockchain that could potentially solve the trilemma of decentralization, security, and speed that all existing blockchains struggle with. Algorand solved the problems with decentralization by making Algorand permissionless. This means a lot of money would go back and forth through the network, and you know people will only trust their funds with a platform that assures them of a certain level of leverage that their traditional finance system cannot offer them. No unnecessary deductions or waiting donkey years to get a transaction through to any part of the world having passed stringent paperwork. Algorand promises clear skies and warm sunshine with speedy transactions that can be executed in less than five seconds. It's undoubtedly one of the strongest cryptocurrencies to use a system touted to be superior to the archaic POW consensus. Sure, there are a bunch of cryptos using the POS system already, the most notable of which is Cardano. Algorand is considered to be the most unique of all. Algorand's pure proof of stake. The method of governance that sustains the blockchain's transactions often makes a proof of stake system different from another. Algorand uses what is known as PPOs. That is an acronym of pure proof of stake. This PPOs was built on the Byzantine consensus. The Byzantine Consensus is a unique system of validation in the PPOs of Algorand that doesn't exist in the POS protocols of other blockchains. The consensus is influenced by the relative influence of a particular user within the blockchain. Every user has a role in the validation process or the choice of a new block in the blockchain. The condition is, is that the likelihood of being chosen and the weight of each user's proposal and votes equal the number of tokens they've already staked. Here is an illustration that I think will help you a bit. The ancient Byzantine Empire always selected rulers based on their background, social class, wealth, and influence. Their influence was determined by the amount of wealth they possessed or their relative social class or power in the nation's military, or maybe belonging to the royal family. Their influence is enough for society to count them as worthy leaders, who may also be wealthy and powerful but have less than the chosen ruler. The system borrows its ideology from this social system. It doesn't just choose the validators with the most stakes. It chooses the best nodes in the system while ignoring the otherwise malicious or faulty nodes. The ruler proposes policies that serve his people's interests, akin to how users propose and validate blocks in the PPOS mechanism. The PPOS system is secure, with the most money in honest hands. This is the key advantage it has over other approaches to the POS system, and also need only one algo to participate effective and cheap. Algorand PPOS version versus other POS systems. The common denominator to other POS approaches is that only a small part of the economy determines if the whole economy is secure or otherwise. A small percentage of users can prevent others from carrying out transactions. Algorand makes this technically impossible. You cannot harm the whole system if you hold a small amount of money. It's just impossible. And whoever owns the largest stake in the system would want to act properly to prevent the cryptocurrency from losing Using its purchasing power and otherwise cause a devaluation of his assets. It would be a huge loss to his own stakes as well. Seems pretty fair, doesn't it? Also, unlike other POS systems, Algorand doesn't need people to solve math problems or cryptographic puzzles to be able to propose or validate blocks. You can participate in the consensus protocol if you're eligible and have a considerable stake. It's also incredibly easy to generate a block, thus saving each participant in the computational efforts and the financial commitments, which are very low. There's very little barrier to participation in the PPO's consensus. It also has leverage over the POW 
POW system, where two users can be chosen to validate a single block simultaneously. The POW deals with this by creating a fork in two branches that could become unnecessarily elongated as more blocks are added to the existing forks, which can spiral to a long string of invalid transactions, producing error messages for those conducting it. It also delays the transactions. While the system attempts to validate your payment eventually, it may end up on a dead branch. The Algorand blockchain never forks because no two blocks can be proposed simultaneously. It's one block of getting certified and written at a time. Once the transaction has been validated, it becomes final. PPOS versus Delegated Proof of Stake DPOS is where a fixed number of elected delegates are chosen to create blocks in a logical order. Each delegate is chosen based on the number of votes they get, which in turn must be weighed against the weight of their stake in the network. US Blockchain is an example of a system that uses the delegated POS, allowing the selection of up to 21 delegates which means up to 21 users can validate a single block. DPoS can handle more transactions than POW. True, this is an incredible system that is more scalable, but to achieve this, it sacrifices decentralization and total security. So, any blockchain with DPoS is centralized, and it's difficult to determine if all the delegates will be honest. And an attack on a delegate will compromise the transaction. The power of delegates is not absolute, because a powerful adversary can easily bring them down with a denial of service attack. PPOs don't let a set of users generate blocks, and there's no delegation of voting power to the few. Instead, every user can propose blocks and vote on them with the probability directly proportional to their stake, so no attacker can be sure who to target to compromise the system. PPOs versus Bonded Proof of Stake Bonded proof of stake is another approach of the proof of stake where several users can create a bond of stakes to help generate blocks. They lock up their stakes for a specific time, which may amount to years. It's like a security deposit, and they get the opportunity to select another block based on the amount they stake. A user's voting power depends on the number of tokens they're willing to stake. It's like buying shares in a company on the stock market. The largest shareholder can head the company. The only difference is that the stake cannot be withdrawn until the set time has elapsed. In any event of misappropriation, the user will lose all of his deposited stakes along with the chance to select new blocks. With the PPOs, you can forget about ever getting to spend or sell your tokens. You're not required to set apart your tokens, and it doesn't place any limitation on the number of tokens you can spend. No stake is held as collateral or hostage. It is where you can always see it, and that is in your wallet. Is Algorand a good investment? Sure, with all these, the Algorand blockchain is seeing a lot of activity, with thousands of projects and smart contracts being created almost every week. Algorand now has its own NFT market. Developers can begin minting NFTs for sale on the blockchain. So if you're thinking of investing in cryptocurrency, Algorand is a great choice. It's a very consistent blockchain and is bound to grow very strong in 2023. The network sees transactions up to 30 million per week, and about 93% of its wallets are holders. The on-chain signals are bearish, with the crypto market yet to fully recover from the market drop that started well over a year ago. So if you can navigate the market volatility prudently, Algorand drives a good bargain, especially with its relatively low price. Why Algorand's price will go up in 2022? Algorand's expected to recover to about $3 to $5 in 2023. Some factors are are responsible for the upward push of the price of Algorand. These are tech updates. With every tech update that Algorand developers make, there's an increase in investor interest. People are often drawn to things that serve them. Providing utility programs on the blockchain will help drive investors and thus improve the price behavior of Algorand. Partnerships Algo Mint is one of the projects the Algorand community has partnered with other enterprises to build. They also partnered with On Ideas in South America to create Vital Pass. It involved using the Algorand blockchain to track the activities towards vaccination against COVID. Such cooperation and improvements will help it gain more attention. Decentralization Decentralization will continue to be important to blockchain technology to maintain its advantage over traditional operations. DeFi is a string suit that Algorand has continued to leverage 
knowledge as a decentralized exchange. Decentralization is a magnet for many marketers. Other notable factors include social media posts and trending news. These will generate a fear of missing out among investors if executed timely. When someone posts something about Algorand on the internet, whether positive or negative, it's bound to yield reactions among the public, which could affect the price action. As I end this video, I would love to see a conversation in the comments about what you think about Algorand. What are your predictions for its eventual price at the end of 2022 going into 2023 as well? Do you have any questions or misconceptions or maybe I'm missing something? Drop a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. And most of all, I hope to see you in the next one.